Just as we have enjoyed and been stimulated by this networking event we're having at the moment with the AGA, we want to reprise what the platform did do in the past, the, the road visits. We went to Canada, Swedish CEDA and FAO some years ago. We've talked with uh, uh, Finland and we've talked with uh, Sweden about in the spring of this year going up to Scandinavia, having a half day either in both places or in one place, talking about what the platform does, but essentially talking to members of those institutions about what the platform does. Coming back to Nikita's point, finding one or two core members who would be interested to discuss a livestock working group or a forestry working group and find those key players that we can start to uh, uh, work with. Now, in the remaining moments of this, uh, this session, I want to uh, go back to some of those questions I was posing and get some feedback from you now on what you see as the, the strengths, uh, successes of networking, the challenges that we have to in, in, in networking in the future. And as I posed that question uh, initially to the CADEP task team, uh, of whom several of, of, of here, people here today are from the CADEP task team, to give us some of your reflections on how well you think the, the CADEP task team has been as a networking uh, entity. Where do you see uh, progress that can be made? Where do you see uh, improvements that could, be, that could be made? That was one group I'd like to ask that question to. And I'd also like to begin to get some feedback of particular areas that you think we should be networking about. I know you've written them down. And again, any comments on the, on the tools that we've been using using for networking. So the floor is open. I'm not sure if we want to, we're going to be passing microphones around with, with people that would like to say a few words on these, on these topics and, and questions. And how, for example, we do the inward traffic. Do you want to have options, as we began to discuss yesterday, of posing questions to platform members? When you go into a meeting, you want to say, who's going to help me Answer this. I'm not going to go to Wikipedia. I'm going to go to the platform. Gary, please. Hi, Gary Smith, FAO Investment <coughs> Centre. Just to talk about the CADAP task team. I mean, firstly, it's been a very disciplined process. We, we've met initially every Wednesday, every uh, uh, Thursday afternoon uh, by telco and usually had about an hour uh, to discuss events. We've now, because of the pressure of work and the additional discussion on private sector involvement in Africa. We now have shifted it to every two weeks. But I think one of the main things is it benefits enormously from having uh, secretarial support through Ian uh, so that we get the, min the comments, the minutes of the meetings are, are posted within hours of our having the meeting. Uh, we, can, we can quickly look at those and uh, revise them and get accurate records of what we've discussed. And, and but without that support, we wouldn't be anywhere near as efficient as we are with that, with that uh, group. But it's also quite time demanding. And uh, yeah. you know, when you get involved in two or three of these discussions, uh, and it's taking you f perhaps four or five hours a week to, to be involved in the discussion and to prepare for it and review outcomes and follow-up activities, it's, uh, it's very time consuming. Right, thanks, Ray. Please, Mark. Thanks. It's a, a rather different issue from CADAP, but related. One of the things that I think has certainly focused the mind wonderfully with the research working group has been specific events. There's nothing that focuses the mind as well as a deadline to work to, as we all know. And that, I think, is something that bringing together the GDPRD and the GFAR side of things has really helped to, to set us a series of, of events that we're working towards. As Nikita highlighted, there's been a whole string of them. And I, I wanted to flag also that the, the GCARD roadmap was created last year, and the, the beauty of that thing is that all sectors have signed up to it, and that the donors are no longer being seen as external to the processes. We, you as a community, are now being seen as, as direct actors within making these changes in your own rights. And I think 
What we have in October in Uruguay and the next G-Card is the opportunity to show how the platform has been actually putting this link between research and development investment into practice and show the tangibles. So I think over this year we have a great opportunity to, to really build up steam as to what the platform is doing to, to make these links happen in, in practice in all of your programs that can then be presented to the world in October to then say how do we then take the next step. Right. All of the members' programs, you mean? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. Other, other comments? Fiona, please. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, and thank you for, for that really interesting session. Um, in terms of potential issues that, that uh, we would like, we, we would see real value in, in networking around, um, I have asked some of my colleagues what, what they're working on, where, where they would really like to connect with other donors, and there's a couple of issues. One is post-harvest losses, which is a, a really major concern for many of us, I think. Um, we're very much interested in supporting, a, a, working with others on a community of practice, of practitioners who are working on that issue. We have some funding. Uh, we have funding for a facilitator, um, but we would really like to, to begin that conversation on how to build a community of practice with the, with the platform. Uh, we also have a number of colleagues who are working on livestock issues and there is a, um, a multi-agency group that meet on livestock issues and many of us in this room are involved in that. They're currently talking about setting up a separate secretariat for a basically a global donor conversation around livestock. My feeling is it would be much better to incorporate that within the platform than set up some separate secretariat, so that would be another issue. Um, I also think that climate change is not going away, so I would like to continue conversations around climate change, agriculture under climate change. And in terms of the tools, I think really the most uh, innovative and useful for us has been um, the, the virtual interviews or the virtual batch office reports and using WebEx, uh, if, I think Gary's point about time is absolutely critical for all of us. It's much easier to have a conversation with Pascal when you come back from a trip than have to sit down and think about writing another report. So you know, using, using for me, using visual communications and those kind of interviews has been extremely useful. Um, and then the other point I'd like to add is the interactivity would be how we can ask questions of other platform members would be critical to me. For example, we talked about this last year, but I'd really like to pursue it. You know, is anybody out? We're in the process of commissioning a major piece of work on food price volatility or commodities. Is anybody else working on it? Uh, is there anybody else we could work with on it? And also, are there, are there uh, members of other organizations who might like to be, or who could be peer reviewers of, our, of some of our drafts, some of our concept notes? So those are the kind of questions I would like to be able to rapidly ask this group and, um, and get Good. answers to. So okay. thank you. Great, Fiona. Thank you. Martin, sorry. This is what we're going to come back to during the key takeaways as well. Some of these points that are coming, coming back. And Pascal, before we close this session, need to come back on Fiona's last point about the interactivity. John, do I? 